It's time for Celebrity Big Brother. And no, I'll never stop doing that. I'm still salty I didn't get a call back for that voiceover. The season three celebrity contestants are officially in the house and we're not wasting any time. We've got alliances and an HOH. Get ready. I'm Anna Rumor and this is Pop Culture Social Call. Now it's always one of the most fun and most awkward parts of the season when everyone enters the house and is like walking around making nice. Right off the bat, I'm thinking Carson Kressley is in a position of power because he already kind of knows everyone. He proposes an alliance with Cynthia Bailey, Shayna Mokler, and Todrick Hall. And let's see what this group can do. I don't see anyone else out here making alliances. This is why you keep it classy at work, just in case one day you're cast on Big Brother and find yourself in a position to create a powerful alliance of former colleagues. Now another high point of the episode for me, an instinct stand for life, was watching Chris Kirkpatrick try to hide his Big Brother super fandom from the other players. Now his acting skills, I think that secret might come out sooner rather than later. Also, Shayna getting nervous when Lamar Odom entered the house because she once called his ex-wife Khloe Kardashian a donkey. I didn't remember her doing that, but I do now. Talk about letting one lie, Shayna. And just like that, Big Brother kicked off its first HOH of the season with a classy twist on an old classic, you hang on to these ropes while we throw goop at you. I've seen this comp 6,000 times. It never gets less funny. It eventually comes down to Todrick, Misha Tate, and Teddy Mellencamp hanging in there, and this is the part that totally sold me on this season. Todrick makes a deal with Misha. She won't put him on the block if he drops. Classic. Teddy then, directly after, tries to make the same deal and Misha won't do it. This makes me think Misha watches Real Housewives. Bravo fans know what I'm talking about. Misha wins HOH anyways. I mean, of course, she's like made of biceps. But we'll have to wait until tonight, Thursday, to find out who she nominates for eviction. Plus, we have the gala gift power to be unveiled. Ooh. Friday, we've got the power of veto and the first live eviction and a two hour episode that kicks off at eight. You know I'm gonna be tuning in. Let me know what you think of this season in the comments and then hit subscribe while you're there and head over to popculture.com for more of the latest entertainment news. Until next time, I'm Anna Rumor and this is Pop Culture Social Call.